Hi friends, this is Abhishek and today I'm going to show you a very good application on Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, by using this application you can make your phone as a webcam so that you can use the images or videos from your phone camera to your laptop or desktop or you can use this application to capture videos or images as a cctv camera or a surveillance camera or if you're smart enough you can use it as a spy camera as well so i'll show you how how to use that application using samsung galaxy s3 you can get this application on google play store its name is ip webcam you can see this icon i've installed it and it's not paid it's a free application you can download it for free and now how to use this application first of all install this application and click on this icon you'll be asked to set few things in this application such as resolution quality and other things um, uh, most important thing is about resolution video resolution if your video or if your internet connection is a little slow you can use a uh, medium or lower uh, video resolution otherwise you can set it high for me i have a medium speed internet connection so i have used 640 into 480 now you have different options like photo resolution as i told you can capture photos also from your laptop using this phone without touching this phone like you can control your camera you, with your laptop so what kind of image you want from this phone you need to set this resolution of the phone photo and the video other things are not mandatory you can focus it on later it's very simple to understand what is the login password and other things so you can leave it as it is how you download the application just go to the last option that is called start server if you click on this it will start the server and it will activate the camera you can see the camera is activated now it's it's capturing all over okay it's capturing my laptop in front now you can see below of the screen there is a IP address mentioned so what is this IP address this IP address is the IP address of the server which it has created which I need to put in in my laptop so it's 192.168.2.4 colon 8080 so I'll be using this particular IP address in my laptop and I will access this phone using my laptop now see how it works I'll put the camera aside I'll just focus it somewhere and let me take you to my laptop I'll just open any any browser and my laptop And I need to type in that particular IP address that was 1162.162.168.2.4.88 and that HTTP column slash slash one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot four column eighty eighty and I'll hit enter. Now you can see this page has loaded. This page will tell you what all you can control in your phone, like opening the media, opening the camera or connecting opening the photos thing like you can take photos from here now let me show you a simple demo how you can access the phone with this 
laptop. Now you can see that my phone is not connected anyhow with cable. It's just connected via internet. I'll keep my camera so that I can focus on something. It's a little difficult to handle with one hand. I'll show you. Just okay. Now I'll click on third option that is use Java browser plugin. Now this will load a Java applet here. I'll accept the terms and condition. I'll click run. Now you can see in my laptop I can see what my phone camera can see. I can show you. You can see, see this is my phone. This is my laptop. If I'm moving the laptop here and moving the camera, wherever I'm moving the camera, it's capturing all around. This is my laptop. You can see solution. I can show you. Yeah. So in my laptop, I can show the video from my Samsung Galaxy S3 okay. now I'll show if I lock this phone it the phone will the camera will run in background as well I'll show you if I choose action and there is an option called run in background if I click on this run in background you can see there is no camera running here but whenever I'm moving this particular phone it's taking video right so I'm using it like a spy camera like nobody's getting to know that I'm using camera in my phone there is no LED light flashlight anything is glowing here now wherever I'm moving this camera so what you can do you can keep it somewhere and you can use your laptop to capture everything okay so this is how you can use the IP webcam and it's pretty good application there are multiple options you can explore it on your own so this was pretty simple to use I okay and just make sure to you use it wisely don't use it for nasty things okay so I hope you like this video and this application Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.